So you join me down in Anglesey again, yet again, we're actually trying to get some bait fish out because after this session, welcome to the vlog, after this session, we're gonna be going over to Liverpool. I'm also using a cart rod on this little session and we're just out in the van and just enjoying ourselves. I'm hoping to get some mackerel. Now, I've actually been into a shop and the shop turned around and said that there's not a lot of mackerel coming out and I can't help that. So as a result, I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna fish with some feathers and maybe a, a jelly lure, skim it across the surface of these rocks and see if we can catch something. And if I don't, listen, I'm new to this and if I catch something, mega result. If I don't, who cares? It's, it's about fun and enjoyment and one day doing this, I will catch something, that's for sure. Now there's one thing we're using a rod, this is actually a spod rod and a spod reel. It's still fit for purpose for casting out and generally doing some well, short range mackerel fishing uh, on the feathers. So what I've decided to do was get a four ounce lead, put some mackerel feathers on, cast them as far as I could and see what, what materialised. Now while I was doing this and trolling the water, I also noticed that there was a uh, a couple of dogs knocking about and Deb's been little Miss Doolittle just couldn't help but play with them. It kept her happy that's for sure and she loves that. It's not dogs on the beach it's ducks and wildlife around the rest of the lakes and rivers or wherever we visit she just loves it and fair play to her. You know, it was an intelligent little dog to be perfectly honest it bring the same stone back that you chucked to it in all those stones smelling the stone brilliant. So meanwhile I digress Getting back to the feathers, on the beach, I tend to notice that there was white fish at range starting to show. So I wound the rods in, had to think about it, and using the rod on the beach, as I've been fishing for the first few hours, wasn't really going to work. And the guys who were fishing on the jellies and the spinners at the end of the rocks in the high tide weren't really catching many fish granted there was a couple out but from this point here i could literally see fish showing about 120 yards right in close here where the breakers are i seen absolutely nothing not much but at range away from the people using the, the jellies i could actually see fish moving now here's the thing it had to be something it had to be other fish attacking the quicksilver which are the sand eels and I just had no choice but to actually give it a go where he had to fish was right on this point here was it that's where I could see him about 120 yards right there and I had to just put a, a rig out there and just see what happens I mean You've got to look at the ocean and you've got to try and work out exactly what is going to happen. And like I say, I'm new to this, but by common denominator, there had to be fish there showing in that area. And that's where I went instead of this side towards the lighthouse. So we're going to go out on the rocks and I'm going to show you where we're going to be doing the mackerel fishing now. So I'm going after mackerel, that's what I'm going after. And I'm using little tiny feathers. I'll talk about that now. Now. Let's put some lighting on, I think. Now, oh, I just caught myself. Ah, oh, and again. So right, what you've got to be careful of with these kind of things is they're very sharp. And the first thing alert on YouTube, I just completely failed on the first base here now. Which is, can you undo this for us? We should hold the lead. Could you pull out of there for us? It must be firm. Oh. There you got it. Right. <laughs> the first thing alert on there was to all the lead and not the feathers because you get caught up in the feathers very, very quickly. The next thing I learnt is that I needed a link between the lead 
and the actual feather link here. I got the feathers from Decathlon, cost me about £3.50. This has got a £12 piece of line on there. So if this leg gets caught in the rocks, it snaps off in the rocks, okay? But there is a little link on here, which you can see there. This sits on top of that. So the lead is mounted onto that bit of steel. I think this is about £40 line here on the trace. It's not a trace, it's just like £40 mono for the feathers. So when you cast out, all the weight is on that link. And when it hits the water, that comes off and then that's on £12 line. The feathers here, which you can see there, I've got a little translucent kind of day glow uh, bead on there it's for night fishing, I think. I'm not entirely sure. And you've got these little feathers here. Now they're to resemble sand eels, of all things. The lowest form of life form for all the other fish to catch or feed off, for instance. I'm not entirely sure. but So that's what sand eels do. Their purpose in life is to live feed all the other fish and swim around. Now, I'll get to that. When I was fishing, I noticed that these sand eels that they also call quicksilver, the quicksilver, because they're really quick, was breaking the surface just in front of me. So what I then did was cast these feathers, these here, straight into those uh, sand eels that are hitting the, the top. Now they're hitting the top for a reason, and that's because they're being attacked and that's what I thought it was. So we've had a right little tickle. What we've got is we've got some mackerel. Not just one, end up getting six of them. Look at that. Absolutely excellent. They kind of remind me of when you get them from Tesco's or that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, there you go. Nice little mackerel there. That's a little one. So that's going to be my breakfast. It is. Deb's. Des is. You're not, not going to cut these for me? Absolutely not. Oh. So the feathers do work. Yeah, I got six mackerel. Six mackerel. So that's breakfast sorted out at least. This chap was fishing last night behind me. <laughs> uh, and he's come back again. But he had two bottles of wine last night and didn't make it back. <laughs> I didn't make it here this morning. So he had a lie in. I don't think he was legally allowed to drive. So, so he's here now. <laughs> and I've also bought a new tackle box because when I was fishing with Richard, uh, Chris, and the other Richard owns Tackle Shack in Liverpool, they had these tackle boxes on. And uh, do you know I'm a tackle tart? Get my hat straight. I'm a tackle tart and I had to see them. So I bought one. It's, it's full of fish guts. Look at that. All I get, and no idea, and I broke it already. So yeah, it's got a little back on the back of it, here, which has just fallen off. Put that back in there. So I can sit there, right, I can sit here, and eat my cucumber sandwiches, and watch the top of my rods. As Richard would do in the tip of my rod. Looking up there on this little box, but not only that, <sighs> tighten these little screws up here. This is a there we go. I'll tighten it up. I can stick it on my back, and it can look like an Inuit. Look at that! Oh. I look like a full grown cow snail going fishing and it's got sponsorship on the back which isn't I'm not sponsored by Dio at all so they had to put a sticker on it didn't they so got this as well just so that I didn't want to feel inferior with the other lads when they were going fishing I didn't want to look like the lads that took fishing which I did the last time I went but uh, yeah I got that as well it cost me about 80 quid so it wasn't cheap I know I could have got one off eBay but if you're new to fishing, you've got to have a new kit, don't you? Because you've got to look like the guy who hasn't got a clue but all the gear. So that's what I did. Uh, yeah. And these guys now are going to go fishing again. Are you having your coffee? Yeah, I'm ah, So he's off now. He's, is that his son? Yeah. His, his son's already gone at it as well. And no, he's already coming back. I think he needs another bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> 
no he's uh he's coming back now i think he's uh, gonna go over to the part that i was at so i'm gonna do some footage and have a look at that now so i'll go fun in it <laughs> <laughs> 